Oh, we look night vision. Color changing. Well, hey there. We're actually uh, sitting in the second bedroom, I guess you'd call it, in a 38 SAV here. It's pretty low ceiling, you can see, look, right there is basically the floor, that's why. But I'll give you a little tour of this. This is a 2022. I think it's already sold. I think we bought it from a different dealership. I'm just getting everything ready. It's basically all here already. I'm just checking all the systems, making sure everything's good to go for the customer. So uh, let's start from the back. We got three of the new 300s. We got the electronic steering. We also got underwater lights, two here. And you also got them on each side of the boat here. So everything will glow blue just like the inside of the boat does. All right, let's climb on the back here. Don't mind the messiness here. This thing literally just came off the semi-trailer and we're putting it all together right now. Let's get down in our bilge real quick. Take a look in here. Now we got 8D battery for the house, 8D battery for the house. You got engine battery, one back there. There's another one right here. There's all of our breakers, all of our mains for the dash. We got a bilge pump button for the mid bilge pump right here. There's our AC mains for shore power right there. We got a bow thruster fuse and cutoff behind this battery. And these are all those automated battery switches right here. All right, coming over to our starboard side, Seakeeper, Westerbeak generator, which I don't know why we have Westerbeak. I've, been, I've seen picture pandas in a lot of these lately, but maybe because we got this from another dealer, that's why this is in here. But one good thing about these is it, uh, it's gas motor, so you don't have an extra fuel tank or anything since you can draw off the tank of these motors. Keep going around, you have our hot water heater. And then looking in here, there's all of our strainers. You look back in the corner, that's the AC pump there. And we got our fuel water separators too. That's the Bennett trim and tilt pump. There's another fuel water separator right there. And our outrigger poles are down here so they don't flop around, but this thing has outriggers on it, it's pretty cool. Let's get out of the hole here. All right, so we got our back hatch closed down now. This boat has tons of rod holders and cup holders. You'll see this throughout the whole thing here. When you got these new lights, that's pretty cool. There's a few of those around the boat. You got speakers back here. You also have speakers up here. Let's, let's push this button right here. And the seat comes forward automatically for you. If you look inside, more speakers. And then your port side, stereo control here. And here's your shore power, which is 230 amperes. And you got TV, you got a marina or something. Starboard side here, shower. Nice recessed. These are cool too. These are cup holders and rod holders. They're kind of a two in one here. Yeah, so there's one of these lights on each side here. More cup holders. And a dive door. Dive door. This is where we just had this open. It folds somewhere right about here when it opens up. You'll see this thing has tons of lights. I mean, it's all over, everywhere in the gunnels. Even all the speakers. We've seen that. They got a blue ring around them. This is all storage inside of here. Our grill cover, shore power. Our battery switches are hidden right there. Going up top here, we have... TV, which folds out of our way. Got everything basically opened up here. There's our big bait well with the clear, uh, clear shield on it. It's pretty cool. It's big too. Then you got our outriggers right above it here, and of course more speakers here. We got uh, sink, grill, garbage, basically all storage down here, and dual refrigerators. I think you can get the option for a freezer and a refrigerator, but you got two here. This is just all drawers for storage here. Nice Yeti cooler. If you look up here, there's a canvas track that goes all the way around this whole thing so you can enclose it. Here's one thing I found interesting. Look at all these seats. I was wondering why there is a button here that you pull to pull the seat down. But not looking at it. That's actually so they get out of your way, so when you're walking around here, you're not bumping to the seats. Plus they put the same marble that's here all the way across so you can use them as extra uh, cup holders or whatever you're setting down. 
I thought that was a very clever idea on Regal's part. Just looking up here too, you have this big giant sunroof up here. And looking at our dash here, we actually uh, got some storage here, which I've actually seen them put speakers in here before, but it seems unnecessary being there's enough speakers here. You have, these are the new Garmin's. Little boat picture of the boat you're on. That was cool. Look, there's that sunroof. You got all your normal switching, nav lights, anchor, all that stuff here. Of course, all the new Yamaha EX stuff, VHF radio, like autopilot, auto trim tabs here. Of course, you're gonna have a bow thruster inside our little glove box here. This is actually where the card reader is for the Garmin. And you got little USB outlets for your phone. Another thing too is you can steal the AC from down there. You got this fan. You blow AC out of your vents here in the dash. Of course this thing has all of the uh, options for night vision. You also have radar here. Now before we go in the cabin or walk up front, yeah, so you got these little courtesy lights there all the way down the gunnel. Of course, like I said, uh, underneath our gunnels here, but you have raw water on this side. If you look over here, you got fresh water on this side. Plus, this is also rod storage. And you got steps with courtesy lights going up to the front here. And you got a clear path on this side. Coming up front here, you got more of those lights right here that open up. There's one on that side too. You got cup holders here with armrests that are movable. More storage down in here. Of course, you're gonna have a big windlass. And too many cup holders. I guess you can never have too many cup holders. More speakers. And this right here, it's got the sunshade. It connects there and up to the top there. And you're gonna have USB outlets basically everywhere on the boat. More cup holders here. That's pretty cool too. It's basically a walkway from where those stairs were at on the starboard side here. We come up here, there's the camera. Got the radar spinning here. VHF radio, there's our outriggers. Of course, we got a horn. This thing has dual wipers with washer. Coming back up front here. Forgot to mention you have seagrass basically everywhere in this boat. And on the T-top, you got this long grab rail all the way around. Thought that was a cool feature too. You don't see that very often on the hard top. Let's venture into the cabin. Nope. We turn off our fan. Of course, we got AC. You can turn just the fan on without the air conditioners. If you turn the power off, you just hit the little fan button. It'll just activate the blower. So you got a little bit of air moving in here because. It is hot here. Of course, we're gonna have lights everywhere. There are light switches. Here's our panel. That's for all of our uh, accessory shore power generator. Storage, microwave. The only weird thing about down here that I thought is, it's got two refrigerators up there. I think you might wanna put a refrigerator down here, but I guess you do all of your uh, hanging out up on the deck here. This is more just for using the bathroom or sleeping. You got speakers up here in the forward part of the cabin here. I thought this was interesting too. Basically everything in this boat is soft touch. Even the wall, anywhere you're gonna rub or hit or anything, it's all soft touch material. I kinda like that. It's not rigid or hard or you're gonna bang around on it. You even got this piece right here that covers everything that's soft touch. And where I started the video was down in this hole here. But there's actually uh, cushions that go between those slots right there. So this turns into one big giant bed. Of course you got your TV. You got like reading lights over here. There's air conditioner duck. And you got a big storage compartment right there. Another cool thing is you can see the windows. So you got a really cool reflection on the ceiling of this thing of the water. I turn around here. The sea keeper controls down here. You actually have this, which turns this into a seat. So now you can just sit in here comfortably, with your air on, you wanna take a break, whatever. And you can turn it back into a bed if you want to. 
That's all the canvas that goes around everything, all the eyes and glass. Let's open up our bathroom here. Get some lights on. Well, you got air conditioner and a blower in here. That's what you heard on the switch. There's your flusher for your toilet. It has a bowl sink in it. Mirrors everywhere, of course. Here's your uh, peak shower. It actually got a seat in it. I always thought that was kind of cool. You can sit down in here because it's kind of cramped. And it has a clear door. Locks in place so nothing happens when you're underway. I always thought it was cool too. They put this uh, pattern stuff on the wall here. Makes it look nice. All right, let's get out of here. Get out of the cabin here. It's getting hot in here. No, you also have a uh, big storage down here. I think I might I might be wrong here, but there's an optional vacuum you can put in here. That's probably the only option this boat doesn't have. All right, let's turn these off and get out of here. All right, let's walk up front here. Get out of that heat, in that hole. Well, I hope you enjoyed our little mini tour of this boat here because uh, I actually like this one. This is uh, one of the better setup Regals, very unique. They call it the sports activity vessel just because it's supposed to do everything and look at all the options, it seems to be uh, the case here. It does about everything, plenty of camping, you know, amenities inside for staying wherever you want to, got every electronics you can think of here and uh, plenty big enough, plenty of power on the back. So. Got any questions about this book? Hit me up in the comments and uh, I'll be happy to answer if I can. And as always, I appreciate everybody watching. I will see you next time. Later. Oh, look, they painted the cowlings the same color as the uh, boat. At least part of them. And the steering covers, too. Nice.